you can pull it. Make that sound. How rude. Hello everybody, long time no see. It's been a whole seven days since I saw you guys. What's good? How y'all been? We interrupt this program to give you a very important message. Depression, loss of sleep, stress. <gasps> Sounds like back to school. <laughs> This is gonna be your next declassified school survival guide, so I guess you can call it Deron's Classified School Survival Guide. So, let's begin. You will need to be successful. This upcoming school year includes the following paper, <laughs> pencils, <laughs> crayons, specifically Crayola. Make sure you don't buy like off brand crayons because I can't stand people like that. <laughs> Glue. And composition notebook. Okay, since we started off with the paper first, it's, you know, point blank simple that I explain why you will need the paper. This is gonna be like your best friend. You'll be sitting there, you know, in class, and you know, you know how you hate when you're just sitting there in class and then the teacher's like, get out of sheet of paper. But you don't wanna go in and like rip a piece out, you don't wanna write stuff down. Bam, have it right here. Just then, if you got like eight packs of paper, or this is four, but if you have like eight packs of paper, then you're gonna be everyone's friend because everyone's gonna be like, Can I borrow a piece of paper? Here you, go. here you go. But make sure you're not too generous with your paper because you know you're gonna need them for yourself. Because, like, well, what's gonna happen whenever you have to write like an essay or something? So, paper. Paper is a necessity. You need this. Next on our list is pencils. Um, these are mine because you know they're you. Know, but you're going to need pencils. Don't show up to school asking for a pencil because I can't stand people like that. And um, I, I'm I'm one of the people who do it, so I guess I can't stand myself. But always make sure you have a pencil. Keep a pencil in your binder. Keep a pencil in your backpack. Keep a pencil in your pocket. So that way, everywhere you go, you're like, oh, and just write stuff down. You're also gonna need these to take tabs on people. You're gonna need these to keep notes, receipts on everyone. Make sure you know what everyone did every single day this year. Keep notes so that way you can keep tabs on people. The next item on our list was the Crayola crayons. Make sure, um, mm, these, they can go both ways. You can either have the crayons or you can have the colored pencils. Um, I just picked the crayons because, you know, it's better. Um, you can use crayons for multiple things. Like, if you gotta do a project and you're like, I don't want to make the project look boring, you can color it, you know, give it a little pizzazz. So, there, and then, You'll also need these just in case, like, what if someone did something one day and you took notes and you kept receipts on that, but it was, like, really important. So, here you go. You can get, like, you can get this blue crayon and scribble that or, like, circle that so that way you can know, okay, that was important. That was an important event. So, yeah, you'll need these for your receipts, too. The next items on our list were the Elmer's glue. These are for whenever, you know, you gotta glue stuff. And most of the time, you know, have teachers like have glue in their classrooms, but then you go like, Miss, there's nothing in here. Oh, you should have brought your own glue. You know, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you keep this in your backpack or keep it in your binder. And if you keep it in your binder, you can like glue it yourself. It's also handy for whenever someone like says something really stupid and you can just be like, you know what, shut up and squirt it in their mouth and bet they'll be quiet, bet they won't say nothing. The next item on our list includes composition notebooks. Oh, this is backwards. Composition notebooks, okay? You are gonna need these because when you're in class and you're taking notes, you know, scribble, 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 you know, one can be for class. You always need to have one for class. I would suggest getting one for each class, but 
you know, some people like, oh, I'm gonna lose this one, I'm gonna lose this one. So, if so, get like a five star or a five subject, five star notebook so that way you can do like English, math, social studies, science, and then whatever another class is that you have to take, you can, you know, keep your notes in there. You'll also need this one to store your receipt. Just, okay, you did that today? Receipt, receipt, receipt. Oh, you wanna say that today? Receipt, receipt, receipt. This is gonna be your best friend. You need to keep this with you everywhere. So that way, if anything pops off, if anything happens, you got your receipt book. And nobody needs to know about your receipt book but you. Because if you let other people see your receipt book, then people are gonna like, um, well, what's his name has this in his receipt book? What's his name says this? What's his name says that? And, uh, you know, you can't have that because then they're going to go tell the principal and then you're going to get in trouble and we're, we're not going to have trouble this year. You want to see my recent shoe purchases? I want you to join me. Always got to have the new balances. Guys, I have like five pairs of new balances. I love them so much. But look. I got the maroon ones because I have to support my hashtag Lee Rebel without a cause. And then I also got these Puma Tsunamis, I think that's what they're called. But look, oh look, the laces are everywhere. But look at them, they're also maroon because I had to do my hashtag Lee Rebel without a cause. But in all seriousness, like, all you really need to have a prosperous school year is you need to stay on top of your classes, okay? You can't let this class and this class, like, you need to be on top of everything. Like, if that means that some days you gotta come home and you gotta study and you gotta do your homework, do it. Like, it's... That's not gonna kill you. That's not gonna hurt you. Like, missing out on this, not going here, not doing this. That's not gonna hurt you, okay? So, staying on top of your schoolwork, that is gonna help you have a very prosperous school year. I don't know what grade y'all are going to. Um, another thing is, you gotta have a good attitude, okay? You can't go into, you know, your school year and like, oh my god, school starting, I hate school, blah, blah, blah. I don't like this person, I don't like this person. You know, when school years start, it's like a fresh new start like the whole slate from last year just wipes off like n like that's how it should be so if you're still keeping tabs on this person like um i don't want to speak english this book after one year you can leave it it doesn't matter because the next year you can take new tabs okay everyone gets a fresh start at the beginning of the school year because that's just what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to keep tabs on people from last year and bring them to this year like, oh, but well, what about this last year when you said this? What about this year when you said that? Like, don't live in the past, just move on. Oh, uh, another thing that is gonna help you have a prosperous school year is, you know, stay in your lane, your lane, stay in your lane. Like, school, ew. <laughs> school isn't for you to make friends yeah it's nice to make friends yeah it's nice to have a lot of friends but like in reality are those people gonna hand you your diploma are those people is, are your is your name gonna be on those people's diploma like at, like at the end of the day whenever you get handed that piece of paper what did those people do for you like you know like it's nice to have friends but at the same time you know, you need to make sure that you are in your lane. You aren't worrying about what this person's doing, what's this person doing, how this person's doing, what's this person's life like. Because at the end of the day, that person's life isn't gonna help yours. So that, and ooh, what else? There's another one that I was thinking of. Oh, have fun. Like, I know I said sometimes you'll need to, you know, study and do your own little thing, but 
have fun. This is your fill in the blank school experience. How many more of these school experiences with these people are you gonna have? Like, you're not. So, you need to make the most of the time and enjoy yourself. It's okay to every once in a while be like, um, oh yeah, I guess I can go out. Oh yeah, I guess we can go hang out here. Oh yeah, I guess I can go. Like, all summer, I didn't hang out with anyone but like two people. And that's only because I was like, um, but I don't want to get out. I don't want to go hang out. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And looking back on it, I wish I would have because all summer I've done nothing but sit here in my room. Oh, and I went to Italy. But other than that, all I did was sit here in my room because I didn't want to go get out. I didn't want to go hang out with people. So, you know, make sure that you make the most of the time that you have at your school. You know, like go hang out with people. Make an effort to see people. But at the, in, at the same time, don't go out. Of, don't go too much out your way to make an effort to see people. You know? Well, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, make sure you give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post videos, um, let's just say every week. I post new videos every week. And, yeah, um, follow me on social media right here. And I will see you guys next week.